Welcome back everybody, thank you for joining me again, and today, we are going to be watching some clickbait videos. From our favorite king, the Let's Be Jimmy clickbait king. And, I don't really know else how to say this, he's known for clickbaiting, and if you just look at his view count, all the proof is there. But the first thing I do want to touch on is, I want you to take note of his subscriber count. It's, I don't know if you can actually see it. Scroll over. So his current sub count, if you refresh this, give it a moment to refresh, is 1.9 million. Okay, not bad. Sub count. Theoretically, let's say he did not buy any subscribers. We all know it's bullshit, but let's pretend... Like Let's Be Jimmy pretends, he has actual fans that support him. We're being Let's Be Jimmy here. Hi, everybody. How do you feel now? No one go dying on me. I don't want to be... I don't want the cops calling me like, Hey, your video will cause three people to die. You're under arrest. You'll like Let's Be Jimmy. But, theoretically say, he does have a legit fan base of 1.9 fans. Okay, fair. Why is this video is only turning out 157,000 views? Yeah, that got you thinking a little bit. The idea is for a subscriber used to you to subscriber ratio, generally speaking, handles under a hundred thousand every hundred views you get on your total, you should expect one subscriber, and that can range between 100 to 500. That's why I noticed when I started, every 100 to 500 views I would get, and my total view count, not on one video, but all my views, you would end up getting about one subscriber. And if you do the math still to this day, I actually did it the other day because I was explaining this to my friend, no, to my little brother, my bad, and explain that if you actually take our total view count at this exact moment right now, I will actually show that to you. Uh, actually, drop this off for a quick second so you guys don't have my personal email address. I know people are going to try to spam me. I don't want to have my personal information here. I know about hackers. I used to be one for a while. And then I stopped. Because shit started going south. I got in a group of wrong people and I wanted out. So, don't be an idiot. Don't, 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 don't just be a fucking idiot and go around and give your information out. Don't put your social security in anything that's not that good. And I'm probably sounding like your good old grandpa who's probably six feet under right now. Sorry, that joke. Okay. Total view count right here. I'm going to bring it up right now. This is our total view count at this exact moment of recording it. 10.24 a.m. January 17th, 2000. I think I'm reading that wrong. January 16th, 2017. I was about to say, our channel did not exist on January 17th, 2016. But as of right now, which is kind of a nice round number, ironically, it is a cat on my lap. <laughs> my cat's on my lap. For some reason, my cat now has been very fond whenever I'm recording. He likes to come up here and part of and leg out my own. But if you take it and you put it into your calculator, 4,340, if you want to put the 434,040 views, and divide that by 100, that means every view you should gain, every 100 views you should gain about one subscriber. And based on that ratio, you would come out to about 400, not 400, 4,000, go to get off my phone, damn it. 
1,340 subscribers. And if you look at our current subscriber count, fuck do I get this? God. Oh, do I get it? You look at our current subscriber count, it will be at. Let me for a moment. There we are. Lifetime. Generally in the same exact ballpark range. About 4,668. This is a huge problem that I've went over in multiple years. And I will do another. What this bullshit is all about. So. Can you miss So, going back to the main thing at hand, generally speaking, every 1,000, every 100 to 500 views you get, you get one subscriber. Now, translate that backwards. Subscriber to view count. He has 1.9 million. Count it off even. A view. Subscribers. Times that by 100, and that should be count, right? Everybody's following me right now. So he should have 100, 190 million views. And let's see. About, if that's true, he has, actually double that. Wow, I'm actually surprised. Oh, wait. Let's look at this. Videos. 1.9. Okay. I'm trying to see something for a quick sec. Do this. Divide out 253 million by 1.9. Would that be? I think that would, that would be 1900. Videos. So you can get the average of what he's. Okay, just to, just ignore that. There's ratios and everything, but the main one you want to focus on for this is the subscriber to view. But ignore that one section. I thought I was onto something. I completely had a brain fart and I forgot everything I was about to say. Going back to the main, what we were actually going to do is explain how Let's Be Jimmy is clickbaiting if you don't know what clickbaiting is yet. While, how are you on YouTube for the past 12 years? My bad, 11 years. I'm mistaken. I'm getting so sidetracked. Yeah, November 2016. 2006. Wow, looks like YouTube's only one year old. PewDiePie and Markiplier got all those subscribers in less than a year. Congratulations. Talk about going viral to the extreme. Don't need that. Okay, going back to what I was saying. If you don't fully know what clickbaiting is, it's the idea of putting a false title and a false thumbnail into getting you to click the video to get the views, and then the first 30 seconds of it has nothing to pertain to the promote your channel. For the reason, if you get through that first 30 seconds, they gain the view. And if you watch the ad, they get ad revenue. And then the rest of the video is complete and utter bullshit, and them trying to talk their way into some sort of lime that's true. And if you look at this, you can see he has quite a few videos, like quite a few, I mean all of them, that look playing GTA 5 at 3 a.m. You won't believe what happens. Let's do a little math now. Everybody get your phones out with your calculators. Just make sure you aren't in school. Right now, you must not be living in America. You're lucky. Let's do this. 14 hours ago. It is 
9 a.m. 10.30 a.m. Okay. There. Nice little even round number. So subtract off 10. That would make it midnight. Wow, aren't you just... Joker, you're a smarty pants. You, you still have four more hours to subtract off. But we already passed 3 a.m. What? What? Wait. He streamed, says he was streaming at 3 a.m., but what? It was only at 8 p.m.? What? There you go, have it. There you go. Basis of dating. A little reading, and you will find out everything about the video is false without even on the video. Look at that. A way to avoid clickbaiting. So. The main part of his clickbaiting channels is based around this Grand Theft Auto game. Again, if you don't know Grand Theft Auto, you must have been living under a rock for the past 20 years. Grand Theft Auto is probably one of the biggest world games. The most successful game by Rockstar by far. They have more than five main story installments, not including Chinatown, Horror Story, Liberty City, Battle of Game Tony, Lost and Damned, like all those side games that kind of don't really with the whole series, but it, from Grand Theft Auto 1, technically not called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, they all kind of have a story that links in between, they all have references to the whole game. But what he does is Grand Theft Auto 6 kind of has been rumored since Red Dead Redemption has been confirmed, have also been confirmed. So he's making a lot of videos, and this one, saw my last rant video, set me off. This was kind of the light that ignited the fuse on it, and it's this video, right? Any gamer would know this is a bullshit video without even needing to read fully the title. You would just have to read five characters, and you know it is lead on utter bullshit. Those five characters follow as G, T, a space. I don't know if space technically counts as a character. Six. Look at the thumbnail. It's The Last of Us. See how there's a problem here? He has a thumbnail for a complete and utter different game. Yet he's trying to pass it off perfectly normal as Grand Theft Auto 6. This is the premise of, Grand of clickbaiting. And he is known as the clickbaiting king. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is all he does. And based on how well his clickbaits work, based on his videos. And as you can see, some, and others are just. This is happening when I play GTA 5. You won't believe what happens. Oh my god. You won't believe what happens, girl. I have no clue. I just, I maybe don't like me. Just put another tab above my face so you don't have to see it. But yeah, his clickbait videos can range from about 40,000 to about. Yeah, that's perfectly normal for a channel with 1.9 million subscribers. Yeah, that does not seem normal to me. But. I said we would watch a few videos. So, got ad blocker enabled so you don't need to watch no ads. And, nice, good. This one is perfect. Everybody needs money in Grand Theft Auto, so why not post a fake video on how to make money while you bank money off the ad revenue just to buy yourself money? Make it look like you're really making money. And then do a teeny tiny bit of editing. Make it look like you're making money. That's the logical way. Click. Congratulations. Let's be Jimmy. You have officially made five cents off me. Oh, actually, no.
What's up guys, it's me Jimmy here and today I have a very very important video that I must share with you guys Today's actually gonna be a live commentary and in this video more importantly We're gonna be discussing something that's going on in GTA that a lot of people don't know about This is actually a thing that's slowly happening again This was happening in the past for a while and now it's starting to happen again and a lot of players are experiencing this And that's why I'm making this video to get this out there as much as possible and for more people to know about this I'm literally trying to share this video around so i'll make a deal with you for each person 32 seconds no 33 seconds in with me being weird and everything he hasn't even mentioned anything about the title or the video but he said his name and now he's trying to promote his video getting you to share it this goes person that likes this video and subscribes to this youtube channel you enter in a hundred dollar giveaway if you follow me over on twitter and you saw the one tweet i was like a youtube giveaway pretty much just like giving a car to a teenagers they will do anything they can to get that car but the moment that you ha they have it you will never see them again pretty much what happens on youtube you say you're going to do a giveaway, you get a huge boost in views, subscribers. The moment the giveaway's over, your view count goes back to where it was before you did the giveaway. You gain really nothing, and if you watch like all his videos now, you will see he's just constantly doing giveaways. Which YouTube actually has banned channels for doing giveaways on YouTube to boost popularity. So I'm surprised they haven't nailed Jimmy yet. Way I'm doing in the next video I'm uploading today. If you don't have notifications turned on right now, guys, I recommend. Never. If, okay. If a YouTuber tells you to put their notifications on, don't do it. I'm gonna say straight up. If I ever fall on that and I say it, please comment down below and say I'm a fucktard. Stop saying that. I generally try to read as many views as possible. Yes, I have that Rage Comp video that every 20 minutes there's a new comment. So a lot of times the smaller videos, comments do get lost. But every so often I do go in my analytics and just scroll down and just skim over a lot of comments. And usually the hated comments I stop on more because, yes, haters are going to hate. But generally, unless they're just straight up dickbags, you can learn quite a bit from them. As they seem like they're hating, but a lot of times they're just trying to give you advice as you're hating on. If you see advice given in a comment, this is like a pro tip for YouTube. If you see advice in the comments section below. Don't ignore it. Take the advice and see where they are talking about the advice is being given and fix it. So, pro tip on how to do better in YouTube. Man, this is like freaking school already. And right now you turn them on. So when I do upload that video in just a bit, like a few hours from now, you guys are going to get it first at hand and you guys are going to be able to win the $100 Amazon code. Just make sure that you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel and you left a like on the video. That is all you guys need to do. But what's up? I hope you guys are having a great day, dude. I hope you guys are actually having a fantastic day. Today I have something really crazy to share with you. All right, guys, this is actually pretty freaking crazy crazy that this is going on in GTA 5 again and a lot of people are starting to see this happen slowly and slowly now this is a problem more importantly because this is freaking crazy that it's even happening so believe it or not guys this is a problem that's going on in GTA 5 right now that is very very serious and when I say serious I mean this is a thing that can get really bad okay this could be a problem that could get way worse than it actually is right now if it gets into the wrong hands and if it gets gets into the wrong people you know maybe just maybe this can turn for the worse you guys recently just started telling me about this so that's why I'm kind of making this video as soon as possible so you guys know about it first at hand when it just started becoming a thing but basically what's going down is apparently there's this app on your phone or there's this number you can call and what this number is doing apparently you're able to put million dollar bounties on people using this method about two minutes into the video, he is finally explaining what this sort of prick is. That if you play Grand Theft Auto, you know the utterly work other than just 
car. And the occasional you go online to buy a car and buy property. But for the most part, phone's worthless. Can't do much with it. And I had enough time to get up, eat an entire fucking Italian bread, yes, that's uncut, grab my Tonto, and pretend to slit my neck before he was able to actually get video. This is 2 minutes and 11 seconds. I will never get back. Right? And I didn't believe it at first. I, I did not believe it. I, I was like, I didn't believe it either. I can't believe it's not butter. I still can't. Like, this is bullshit. There's no way that this is even possible. There's no way that this can be real. And guess what you guys send me over on Twitter? Well, I get I get a few pictures, all right? A few re revealing pictures. And these pictures... Here's another tip. YouTube, if you have ever uploaded a video, you know there's a section called tags. That's the tags for searching. A lot of people don't know the words you actually fit in that translates to captioning. Become a tag itself. And if you have ever specifically listened to the choice of words he very well clickbaity it. Words like revealing, secret, new, like all this words. Like I actually want you guys to go find a different video, watch a few, and just listen to the words he says, and you'll notice he repeats a lot of the words over and over and over videos and multiple times in this video. So if you want to watch this video with me, go ahead. If you want to go and watch some other ones and try not to blow your eardrums out or want to commit suicide. That's on you. Like I said, please don't. I don't feel like having the cops busting down my door and be like, Your video called the bleh, bleh, bleh. Yeah, the cops will come in and be like, Your video, bleh, bleh, bleh. Yeah, you, you, you know. Yeah. I really need to stop with these jokes. Show billion dollar bounties sent onto people's accounts. And I'm just sitting here like, I want to know, first of all, if this Photo on C or Xbox PlayStation. For the reason, again, if you're a Grand Theft Auto player, you will know right over in this section, if I'm not mistaken, it will show which console you're on. But those parts are blocked out. Another thing to think about. Holy mother of God, can I get that? Please, please, God, please put that on me, actually. Actually, that would be great if I can get that. That'd be actually wonderful. That'd be a blessing. Thank you. That bounty is the amount of people that want to kill with Jimmy. Not for money. For the fool. Ah. Thank you, God. Thank you, oh. Jesus. I mean, think about it, guys. You see, out of nowhere, that out of the sky damn blue, you get $9, million, $9 billion sent on your account. Hundred thousand million. It's not nine billion, you dipshit. Yes, I had to stop and go back for that part. Out of the sky blue, right? You get nine billion dollars just put onto your head as a bounty, and everyone wants to kill you, dude. Once they find out, dude, that you have a nine billion dollar bounty, dude, listen, they are coming for your life, your kids, your grand grandkids, your kids' grandkids. And all of those kids. Now, I want to point out right now that there's no way that someone's just doing this with a random app on the phone. Or, no, there's no way that they're doing this with a, a certain phone number. It's pretty much impossible. I think what this is, is a certain mod that was added into the game. Where you could put in a certain cheat code and actually put bounties like this on people's head out of the sky blue. And that's what I think this is. Because there's no way that this is actually a thing in-game. Where you could put nine billion dollar bounties on people's head. There's no absolute way. And a lot of you guys were telling me, well, what if there is a way? Well, what if there is an actual Easter egg that not a lot of people know about, Jimmy? You st what? In using logic? I'm sorry. I'm having way too much fun with this video right now, and I am sorry. This thing's running pretty long all the time right dude you tell us all the time that there are easter eggs that have never been discovered yet so what if this is an easter egg and i gotta let you guys know i i, I can't watch any more of this i'm pretty sure pretty much half the viewers are just gone by now if not all of them guys as you can see just based off this one video we didn't even get it fully into four minutes five minutes like half the video 
do notice he hasn't said anything about unlimited money. <coughs> Nowhere has he done an unlimited money trick. Talked about a photo and subscribed to his channel and a giveaway for most of this four minutes. This is the definition of the case. And he's supposed to be a Grand Theft Auto YouTuber, news updater, keen killer, John Scare sort of shit. But it's depressing to see if you even just go back to his channel. And this is gonna Real quick take a bit. Started, I take a bit. So. I. <coughs> I'll speed the part up. Alright, fuck this. It's gonna take way too long. But if you go back to, like, really far back to when he first started YouTube, Grand Theft Auto, it is like he wasn't terrible YouTube. He uploaded Grand and Black Ops 3 glitches and gameplay videos, and that was it. Not too much clickbaiting. Then the clickbaiting started, and he went fucking downhill faster than an avalanche hill. I don't know if that worked, but whatever guys pretty much this is kind of an educational video on how to avoid clickbaiting and if you guys do want sort of information videos on Grand Theft Auto leave in the description below not the description comments below and any true news from Rockstar we'll get from right over go over to your Twitter Log in or sign. Log in, or if you're already logged in, you're good. If not, just sign up. Not that hard. Go up to your search. Type in Rock Star. I spelled Rock wrong. Star Games. One with a little check mark next to it. And oh my God. All the latest information on Rockstar Game. I mean, double EXP weekend. Dreams. I'm just gonna scroll down, let this load out quite a bit. Minutes. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna teach you something that if you wanna find something really easy, not that hard to do. So just go down and let it go out for about 30 seconds. Hit Control F, and we're gonna type in. I can see my head's in the right. Red, dead. dead. Let's do all the information, all tweets for GTA. They haven't posted anything. This is like what? Back in December when apparently Rockstar has been saying all this stuff about Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto. Oh look, finally. Something about Red Dead Redemption. And it was from PlayStation. There you have it. An easy way to get all the information on Rockstar Games. Oh wait, but there's more. Like Billy May says, but wait, there's more. You can actually go, they have this neat little thing called Google. Oh shit, no, 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 fuck. I gotta edit that out. I gotta edit that out. Oh, .com. That. Here's this little you can type in rock star gang wire. Click on the first link. 
And once when it loads, we get all the information on Rockstar. Now let's do the same thing that we did before. Oh, balls. Bully. Juggernaut. Best of surprise. But all this stuff we've been posting about with a trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. Confirmed female protagonist and all that, but on here, they don't even have that in their top stories. The top stories for anything related to a game is Rockstar Games, Red Dead Redemption. And if you look over here, it's not for PC. Congratulations, Rockstar. You have pissed off another portion of your fan base. Coming fall 2017, an epic tale of life in America's unforgiving heartland. Watch the brand new trailer here. That's it. That is pretty much the brand new news on anything for a new game by Rockstar. Man, let's be. I want to know where you're getting your information from. Because... Apparently Rockstar doesn't know they've said that. See yeah, you guys. That's all I've got for today. I'm really sorry this one turned out to be a lot longer than planned. So. Have a great day, everybody. I hope you guys are still alive. And if you somehow managed to make it through this entire video. Congrats. This was a long video, I know. And you had to listen to Clickbait Jimmy over here. I, I had to fucking grab my Tonto. <laughs> Tonto. Ah, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Yeah. Oh, wow. But if you guys made it this far, I'm really impressed. Also, I just also want to mention that over on Twitter last night slash today, I posted a tweet kind of mocking what Let's Be Jimmy does with the whole giveaway and everything. But this one, I was actually. Am series if the rage compilation does hit what was it five hundred thousand yeah five hundred thousand views by the end of twenty seventeen we will do a PlayStation four slash Xbox One giveaway and that's more or less show like we were n pretty much nobody but at the same time we produced a video that made it channel to what we are now. Without that video, I probably would never have topped like 1,000. Really, like a few weeks after that video was uploaded, we topped 1,000, went up to 2, 3, actually topped out at 10,000, and then we got dropped by YouTube, and that's a story for another day. So, everybody, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you turn on the little notifications and always come back for more clickbaiting. <sighs> but like always, guys, remember, that if you have to do anything in your life, and you only have a choice between one and a million things, always do this.